Die, 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 giant alligator. Hello all and welcome back to Soul Mask with me, Ironside McCool, here at Ironside Games. Thank you so much for watching. And as you see, we are lovely 6.58 in the AM, just chilling out by our bonfire with our peeps. Outcast level 4, level 12 over there just doing some work. Uh, and we've got level 6 there as well. Can you get me something to drink? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. Don't panic. Don't you panic. Now, as mentioned in the previous episode, the names of these people will be left entirely down to the commenters. We've got three to choose from so far. Um, it looks like they're thirsty and hungry, so we can sort that out at some point. Um, so three outcasts to name, get creative, get your soul mask thinking caps on, and we'll choose the three best names that come up. So, let's exit our lovely seat. Not sure what Rain's doing. There's a seat right there. Anywho, um, if you remember from last episode, we did quite the bit of exploration around here where we went round to every single ancient ruin on the map and mysterious ruin and gathered a load of crystals. And I have used them and I'll show you where we've put them. Um, so I've put them on shield and we can't do the next one until 25 um, because we are using spear and shield as kind of the main um, attack focus but I also put an extra one on gauntlets as well because I think they could be quite cool. Um, I also went along the uh, mask perception route here so we've got this one we did this in the episode so we could get that extra um, tribesman who was just laying on the bed and we've got here where we can use different types of masks because there's more masks to unlock um, so we've done that as well and also increased the perception power of our mask and um, we've maxed both of these out already uh, apart from that one we need to wait till 20 hopefully we'll hit 20 soon and um, so we can get that one done as well and this one 20 to unlock the next level to increase the energy of our mask i will be doing those um, and at 25 the episode where we'll be going to unlock the red crystal slot not entirely sure what that one means just yet but excited to see what that can be done. Also, unlock the auxiliary parts to make our craftings um, a bit more efficient, but haven't actually chosen any of those um, just yet. Um, and I haven't done for the energy consumption yet either. Keeping them all until, um, because as you can see, we're almost level 19. Um, so effectively one level to go before we can up our, um, not shield and spear, where was it? level 20 here uh, where we can do that and that requires eight crystals um, and that's six so kind of want to keep them so we can improve uh, the mask energy then we'll go and do another farming run um, of the green crystals for our um, combat okay that was yesterday and that's how we've used our crystals what we did do yesterday as well is put down the first farming plot and I don't like it as is always the case with the first ones that come down, I don't like it. I will keep this foundation here um, and I'll use it for something. Some sort of tower or hall or storage unit or something. I haven't decided yet. Um, but we will be moving the farm, as I said to do in the first place, over here. Because it needs to be big. That's one farm plot and it's rather large. So we need to put a big foundation down so we can get a big farmland going and also the animal pens as well for turkeys and whatnot. So we're gonna need a big place for the farming. So we'll leave that as it is, but the actual farm bit will come down over here. And we've got quite a bit of room uh, to play around with in this area, as you can see. So we'll probably go quite close to our boundary here of the bonfire. Um, and come out and just use this whole bit maybe as our farm different levels doesn't matter we've got the foundations so that's the plan for the farm um, and as always <laughs> we've got uh, we've got some jobs to do today so let's open up the diary and have a look see what we've got now we've ticked off the the ones from yesterday apart from the locating our first scout fortunately we weren't successful with that one we ended up killing her too quick so day four what we need to do first is locate two scouts at this time so we're not just going for that one we're going to be going for the two and we'll show you where they are on the map next 
um, we'll be doing some, once we've lifted that fog of war, some exploring around further to try and gather some more uh, materials and resources um, and so on, but also looking for elites. Now I know where there is one elite um, Jaguar, I think it was, guarding uh, a ruin. I'm going to want to try and take that on, but I might wait till level 20 for that. Um, next, moving along, we've got some seed gathering to do as well. Maybe go to the uh, Barbarian Barracks for that. And then finally, uh, as just mentioned, we will be improving our farm. So we'll be setting the foundations down and the plots down for the new farm. So we'll do that towards the end. So if we look at our map for our route of exploration, um, we're going to be starting off here at the bonfire obviously and making our way east over to this scout number one which we killed yesterday so we need to be redoing that um, and after that we will be heading further down south kind of southwest we're going to hopefully swim across there um, and go around to the bottom of the map here for scout number two which will unlock even more fog of war for us to see what we've got um, basically to explore and any materials needed for that so that is on the map on the map <laughs> on the diary for today's jobs so we may as well get to it I'm not going to take rain with me or any of the fighters uh, with me this time it's just going to be me and you and we are going to make our way over um, to the barbarian camp here first of all to grab our hopefully first scout we're not killing them um, so we'll just check see we've got everything that is needed so we've got some green crystals just in case and um, we've got full mask energy which is now up to 700 i believe because we unlocked it so we should be fine on that sense so i'm not bringing any of the sunstones with we've got full water plenty of food plenty of bandages we've got our weapons and tools we'll take the farmland out though we don't need that so we'll just chuck that um, in the miscellaneous box which I need to sort out, so we just hover over, press Q, and that moves over. So let's set up the shortcut mark. That's where we're off. V, we'll head out. There it is, 777 meters. Not too bad. Now I like being able to put the, uh, we'll just get ready. Now I like being able to put the shortcut marks, however they don't, um, yeah, why not? They don't appear. Good. There we go. They don't appear. Yeah, we'll grab it. <laughs> I'll get to my point eventually. Uh, we'll go for the hide and carcass. Yeah, there we go. They don't always appear quite right. Sometimes they can be low down, high up. You know, they're not at, as you say, eye level, so to speak, which is a bit annoying. Um, but what I have really dislike... That's a new mask ability that I got gives you is he in there? I could have sworn that was the other one now oh, there he is yeah bush dogs rarely uh, travel alone um, what was I saying yeah the outcast count markers here I kind of wish they weren't there you know so like you've got a, a permanent heads up display I guess effectively you have with the mask but I, I don't like the look of it you should just take it off and then we can keep opening up the map if we need to let's just get those hit points back we do have 126 bandages that is quite the handy uh, trait skill un unlock to have yeah I'm really really enjoying that unlock perk the, the outline as well, the border of the screen turns red, which is quite cool. Oh, that! I think that's the first headshot I've had with this spear. Oh, I can't wait to get 25, get some more uh, skill proficiency in that one. Also, I've been thinking, whenever we unlock around here, I think, maybe a bit further... Uh, west from it of moving base perhaps as well to somewhere that's um, a little bit more open uh, so we can get a nice vast open 
uh, tribe down as well. It's not always surrounded by the rainforest. Now I like the rainforest, it looks cool. And it's handy being by the water, but to build a big ass village and a big ass tribe, I don't think I want to go Sherwood Forest style, uh, to be honest. So maybe thinking about moving further afield at some point. I'm not gonna bother with a parrot. Uh, okay, that was just because of the parrot. Only hostile ones give you the little gling, which is uh, helpful. We've got 250 meters to go. I'm really hoping we can pull this one off first time and we don't have to lather, rinse and repeat each one. That Oh, that would be annoying. Yeah, easy. Don't want to fall from too high up. Right, here we are. Not much hassle on the way. So we've got a bush dog, level 11 by the look of it, and the scout is a level 15. Right, that 11 would be nice to take out first. Well, Baron looks like they're walking further away. I mean, the scout. Because we're even, even doing the controlling, the other one can still attack can take them out quickly like that we can now rush in and uh, get the scout down now she may go down to the right health with just my uh, throw and possibly right now she is now she is now she is now she is yes nailed it the dog's still attacking Right, now she can die. Dog can die. Ooh, that got a little bit hairy towards the end, but we got plenty of bandages. Right, good. First scout located and done. What's she given us? Okay. All right, so we've unlocked, we're still currently here, so we've unlocked all of this. So we've got more ancient ruins, a copper mine to go explore, awesome. Next to a massive barracks, Claw tribe, all right. More ancient ruins there. The mysterious portal, okay, to go to other parts of the map. That's cool. And the pyramid. I need to be 20 to definitely go there. And we will be once we hit 20 for sure. So that's good. So it's unlocked this portion of the map. Nice. So next, we're going to be going down to this western rainforest scout to unlock that. Um, we'll have a little look around this camp for anything maybe they've got some good stuff in here uh, copper ore, leather rope, splint, thick hide we'll, we'll take that and we'll leave the rest, don't really need that alright that's about it so let's head down towards the next one. How far is that one away? Uh, oh, gosh, a kilometre. Right. Well, I'm not going to be talking and putting you through a kilometre of running. So unless something cool happens en route, we see you there to unlock our second, hopefully, scout. So just discovered this ancient ruin, which wasn't marked on the map and is being protected by some bush dogs. Uh, my gold! Three of them annihilated me pretty much. I should have done some dodging. I should have just been better. I took two out. There's only one left. So I just have to wait for my health to regen. Uh, I can do a bandage though. There we go. Once health reaches top, I will awaken and we can take that last one out. That was a bit of a surprise. Yesterday everything was going so well. There he is, the little bugger. Alright, we're not too far away. That's regening nice and quick. 715 hit points. Maybe I should put some more on that, but I know defense is a big thing as well. We do need to um, improve that. Uh, really looking forward to level 20. 
Right, are we nearly there? Come on. Shall I do another bandage? Stand still. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Moving along. Check for anything else. And another bandage. This one's tough. Well, that was a tough bush dog. Oh shoot, another one. No. Not another one. That wasn't a terribly good hunting score. Okay, need to be a little bit more careful than yesterday. Maybe I should have brought rain along. What have we got? Uh, yep, crystals, sharp horn, you, you. shell. I haven't seen anything with the shells yet. Maybe it's for a, a shield or, or something. I don't really know. So let's move on. So we're not too far. So we only came 300 meters. 780 to go. Just had to batter some piranhas. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. I do need to give my spear a good repair as well. I almost might try and make up a couple more as well. See what quality I can get. Um, the piranhas didn't do much damage to me while I was in the water. I just kind of carried on swimming past them. Uh, but that was interesting. Oh, there's a croc. Oh my god, that's a croc. That scared the absolute piss out of me. Oh, can't dodge. Come on, die, 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 giant alligator. Die! Oh, death roll. Damn it! Got me in a death roll. Literally. Oh, where's the nearest spawn point? I didn't put one down. Uh, it's going to be the bonfire, isn't it? Where's Outcast? Yeah. Bonfire it is. Damn! Now I have put my death package um, spawns at my feet. Um, that is the easiest way because the game can be brutal solo. Um, it is designed multiplayer, so I've just you know tweaked it a little bit. For that, now I'm going to see if I can repair my spear. I'm not sure we're going to go back <laughs> to try and take it down, though. Uh, let's craft another one as well. And we'll see if we can repair that. Yeah, there we go. What are we going to get? takes a hot minute. Maybe we're going to put some uh, points on the crafting. So that croc, the alligator, giant alligator. We took one down yesterday a lot easier. I think I'm going to bring Rain along with me just for some backup. See, uh, see what she can do. Right, just 10 seconds left. We're probably going to end up with a, a crappy one. But it'll be a spare to take with us. Nonetheless, just in cases. Ah. Uh, good yeah called it right we'll put it in our inventory anyway we'll go grab rain and then well we're not gonna go where was it yeah it was over we meant we did swim across but we're gonna head down straight down and go across that way I reckon on tomorrow's job list we're gonna go and get red We're going to go and get revenge on that croc and any other croc that may cross us. I'm going to do better at fighting, get some more rolls in, get out of the way basically. Not pin myself up against a rock. You know, all the stuff that I should have just done that I didn't do, I'll do. 
uh, and it'll be a good old day. Now is it <laughs> on the? Is that just because of a turkey? Rain seems to think it. Yeah, she's after the turkey. Uh, galloping. Okay, fine. Um, where was I? Yeah, I put on the. We put on the the job list today. Elites. Maybe we don't until level twenty. Um, you know, just a thought. I've just noticed she's not wearing her normal armor. Why aren't you wearing your armor? I didn't take it off. You stupid woman. Right, I have to sort that out when we get back. As we approach, we have basically slaughtered everything on route. And we got to level 19. And I put the other point on agility just to do a bit more damage. So that's now at 20. So I may focus on something else for the time being. Maybe physique or strength or something. So same, same. Two level 15s, the scout and a barbarian and a dog. Right. I'll wait for them to get a little bit further apart and see if we can do what we did last time. But I'm going to have to put her on passive. Because uh, it just ain't worth the risk. Right, there's the barbarian. Still quite close to the scout. Scout's got dual blades. Alright. We might be able to pull her. Yeah. Just a scout left. No! Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me! Ooh. Got it. Oh, yeah, we need to take it down now. Right. Let's have a look what we've got from that. Uh, medium hit. Ooh, tin ore. Okay, so we've unlocked copper and tin. Nice. And a few more. Ruins to go and explore, barbarian barracks and so on. Okay, so we've opened up a whole new area to explore for another day. Right, so Rain and myself, we are now going to make our way back, achieving the two scouts. Awesome. We've done a little bit of exploration as well along the way. Haven't managed to find any seeds, but we'll do that over at the barracks when we come to do those. Um, actually, I did get a couple of corn seeds, um, but other than that, not much. And some more green crystals and bandages, of course. So, we'll head back to the safety of our bonfire, 1.6 kilometers away. Uh, and then we're going to redesign our farm and get the plots down. On our way home, we stumbled across this camp. And as you can see, we've got an alpaca. Um, I wasn't I wasn't planning on doing the alpaca just yet, but considering it's right there and we've got rain with us, why not? Oh distraction, it's not. There we go. Yeah, we'll make we'll make short short work of these and then I think I know how to get the alpaca. <laughs> Pop Right, rain is on active. In you go. There she goes. There we go. Right, just the alpaca left. Do they have anything cool? Uh, beast hide, yeah, I guess that's always good for the moment. Bandages, yeah. Classic. Linen pants. Legendary quality linen pants. Pants. Uh, I can repair them. They're better than mine. Why not? Right. We'll check out the their stash. Yeah. Then we'll get the alpaca. What a little Brucey bonus. Uh, yep. Dish, dish. What's that? Silver. Oh. Premium bandage. Gypsum. Oh, seeds. Why am I ignoring that? What have we got? Oh, cotton seed. Oh, that is a rare find. Sweet. Definitely going to get growing some cotton. Uh, we'll do that off camera so you can see it uh, the next episode. Here he is. 
he, she, little uh, alpaca. Now I think we just pick him up out of there. Put him down over here. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck off, train! I don't think she can. F6. Stupid woman. Not only do you not put your clothes on in the morning, you kill an alpaca. Right, and now I think we are. Like that. Then, health 31. You stupid. Nope, I picked him up. Ah. I think then if I just uh, view items, I don't know if I've got anything he'll eat. You know, they're classically vegetarian. Oh dear. Nope. We'll have to wait till we get home. I haven't got anything for you to eat. Can I, though, deploy? And follow? Come on. Are you more excited about staying with rain? Follow me, passive, maybe if they were on assist. No. Right, let's reset her location. Let's reset. Setting to free. I want him to move. Gender her for it to move. And pick up details. Uh, alpaca action. Stop. Freedom. Follow. Yes, he's following. Right, where's the bonfire gone? Right, we'll see you back at base with an alpaca. I don't know if I've got... Oh, uh, I got <laughs> too excited. Um, right, I think he'll just end up teleporting as and where. Is that him? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my alpaca. Right, we'll see you back at base with an alpaca. Home sweet home. And as we were <laughs> running back, I was just... Uh, reliving what's happened so far in today so we got mauled and death rolled by an alligator where are my friends there's the alpaca where's rain no way she's dead she'll turn up yeah she'll turn up uh, so we got death rolled by an alligator uh, we managed to successfully unlock both fog of war by getting the scout and we stumbled across not only cotton seeds, which I've heard are very difficult to find, but also really important for the next armor upgrade. And this little dude, an alpaca, which I'm going to give some berries. Um, but we've lost, we seem to have lost rain. Ah, huh? She's, she's still there. Is there a way I can call her? I don't know. Maybe she'll teleport. I don't know what's going to happen with her. Oh well. Uh, I got more. Right, so this little dude, if we now bring inside here, we turn him off follow. Yeah, I'm just looking at the uh, rain commands. Stay. And he's on follow. Right, so we will change his behavior setting action setting to stop and we'll grab some berries 183 should do see if I'll eat those oh he's thatch he's got some all right fine okay so we've got that now does he just at ah, developing three percent yes so the next time everybody you watch my next episode we're gonna have an alpaca probably won't have rain however but uh, anyway we'll do a rain version two with one of these not the skinny dude one of these girls or we'll get someone from up there or somewhere else we'll get another rain <laughs> um, and don't forget 
you're naming these three as well and one lucky person who can choose a good name shall name the alpaca as well i believe you can name them and um, so that will happen okay so let's get our seeds and sort the inventory out so we'll deposit everything that we can there's not much i think can go in these things so we'll do a uh, yeah just for the time being 38 more crystals cool i need to repair that we'll put all of this in and i will sort it out at some other point right Ah, oh, made up that we've got that. 4%. Oof, it takes his time. So next on the list was... We're going to leave that one here. Leave that foundation there for something. But we've got three farm plots that we need to put down. And we're going to put them over here. So the objective on the list was to just set the foundations down and get the uh, farm plots on. And the, tomorrow, uh, day five, we'll get the fertilizer and we'll plant those cotton seeds up. And we've got corn seeds as well. So we'll do all that um, the next day. Right, foundations. So let's put all of that away. Let's grab our scythe. And go uh, thatch farming. Well, he's only been here for, let's say, 3% of his developing life. And he's already done a shit. <laughs> We'll pick that up, and it's needed for fertilizer, I believe. So we'll put that in here. One big pile of feces. Oh, it doesn't count as plant. That's all. We'll put it in the miscellaneous box then. Uh, right. We are almost ready for some foundations. Now I want to do a five by five so we've got 40 odd seconds left for the thick rope and then we're going to see just how many foundations we can get with all that thatch hopefully it should be enough okay 25 foundations on the go <laughs> very very encumbered um zed call mount to follow now i don't want to do that he's still developing um and i've just started to clear some of the area think we've got I'll just cut those trees down and I think we've got a big enough area there so when everything is crafted up and I can actually move um, we'll, sh we'll see what we've got right now that's taken care of <laughs> uh, we are at the border of our bonfire as you can see and we've got 25 foundations all made up ready to go and we'll see it isn't it's not too much of a gradient, so we'll see exactly where. So I think we'll start it another one. Well, I'm just going to have to go Wolverine on your ways. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> um, right, let's get that up again so we can see exactly where we're building. Uh, first of all, yoink. Mainly for the common carcass chunk. Right. So that and our it's in hotkey number five. So if we go maybe one, two, three, four, five, one. That's fine. Two, three, four, five. Is that too high? No, that is in just. Oh, very just. But it still works. One, two, three, four. Ah, that's not quite there. I can do that. That will have to do. So I need to make one more. <laughs> and fill that in. Make one more. Grab our... Ooh. Does that go too big? Four more. We've got enough stuff. We'll grab the farm plots as well. 
and we'll make some fencing to go around as well so it looks a bit better than it does we maybe move the well over there as well haven't decided but that's going to be our farm and animal husbandry and pens and all sorts i thought that was rain then right so we want some thatch and thick rope i think that's in the other one yes uh, and we need to make these guys some nice food and drinks. Uh, four, and we'll keep the, we'll keep it on us so we can make some um, fencing. Or maybe we do the fencing out of wood. Actually, yeah, let's do the fencing out of wood. Let's just get everything down first of all. So there should be another two farm plots. Yeah. We'll go and grab that other one and get them down. See how much space it's used up. Uh, yes, take the hammer out. It's easier. Relocate with... You cannot move this building. I'll retrieve it then. Get our foundation. It will, we'll make some steps as well. We should have enough mats on us. Okay, there's that. And stairs. Thatch stairs. Go three. Move those down in there. Is it going to be big enough? We go right to the edge. One. Two. Oh, no way! That's outrageous! Um, okay. Five more foundations. <laughs> Foundation five. There we go. We'll get the steps down while we wait. So we go one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. And we've got two there. One there, but we're putting some more in. We need to get rid of that rock. Right. And that's higher. We'll just have to see how it goes. And then we could, I don't know, use that as a walkway or we can put some boxes down or something can be done with it. It's not the end of the world. We've got, so, farm plot is down. I'm wondering now if that's actually too close to be able to put some fencing down. So, if we can make some thatch one just to check. Uh, we may as well do 10 while we're at it. And then we can just upgrade. Uh, so we may need to just move them over slightly which is fine because we've got this space just means that that'll be poking through which is annoying uh, right let's have a look it does work nice okay so we'll put fencing all around the back and the sides and up to stairs as well and then possibly done okay and there she is finished enough space we've got three across the top now what i think i will do off camera is move them uh, just slightly across to the right so we've got an equal space here and an equal space over there and then i might make two more and put them in the little gap here and here and then we've got this big um, space at the front here where we can store um, boxes for our seeds and tools and anything like that to go along with the the farm and what I thought we could then use this one for 
we'll get some steps up to it as well is for the chicken coop and a stable and all sorts for our animals so I think that will go here uh, with fertilizer as well so we can take it over there so we've got the animal husbandry bit with all the turkeys and whatever else we manage to to get uh, which will be the next episode uh, so we'll do that all over on this bit and then we've got more space around there and here to work as well to make some different platforms uh, and we can also of course if needed we could do kind of what we've done over here not deliberately I might add uh, with the foundations and make them not quite raised enough to make it look like a kind of a, a kind of a path or something or maybe that'll work with just the flooring I don't no, but I'm liking the look of it so far. Um, we've got uh, what is resembling some sort of homestead uh, with like a town hall, I guess, with the bedroom, the bonfire in the center. We've got the crafting bit and now we've got farmland and the animal pens bit TBD for next episode. And then we're looking pretty sweet, I might add, because this bit over here will be upgraded with all the... Uh, the iron stuff and the bronze stuff whenever we get round to that so we're looking good and we can always make towers to make it look a little bit more uh, effective with arch towers or whatever yes I'm liking it I'm liking it it's looking good and I will I think I will try and put some paths down see how that works so we get rid of these ones in in the middle good so quick recap of today's events we did successfully locate the two scouts and unlock their fog of warner so we've got more places to explore now as well uh two um mines we've got tin and a copper mine some more ancient ruins the big barbarian barrack as well we'll go and do and of course when we hit level 20 uh, we've got the ancient pyramid with the saber toothed duck to go and take out at some point as well that could all be within the next two episodes because we are level 19 almost 19.5 so not too far away from that what else did we manage to do we managed to get some cotton seeds which was a lovely brucey bonus we'll see if we can get more um, from the camps around here rain's still there around here we'll so we'll go and loot those chests see if there's any more i do know there's some at that barbarian barracks as well though uh, they have cotton growing which i think you can get and chilies as well so we will be heading over there to give that a good lootage um we got yeah so scouts done we got some seeds we got the farm done and we also had a little brucey bonus i like saying that of uh, a little friend here our little female alpaca 17 percent um so she's grown up nicely to be our mount which will make getting around a lot easier and um she can also carry a lot so i need to get work get to work on this ready for next episode i cannot wait so we will leave this one here hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button leave all your comments down below of names for the outcasts names for the alpaca any hints as well anywhere i should go uh, just let me know please down in the comments um, hopefully you enjoyed it like i said hit the like and subscribe button again and as always take care and we'll see you next time.